A demanding instructor known for her abrasive personality, now former dance mom star Abby Lee Miller, taking a much different tone about to serve a one-year and one-day prison sentence for monetary crimes, including bankruptcy fraud. She spoke to ABC's Lindsay Davis about her regrets and plans for the future. No crybabies! Done! Abby Lee Miller, the outspoken dance instructor with the big personality from the hit show Dance Moms, living on the dance floor. Paige, your elbows are lazy. Is no stranger when it comes to drama. And I want perfection. Miller was often criticized for her harsh delivery and abrasive hey, teaching style. Don't get so close so that you're tumbling into the stool. You know what? She's not happy unless she's humiliating someone. The cool. world witnessed her push students to the limit. Why are you laughing? Because I think you're ridiculous. Go. Get out of here. Go sit up the stairs with your mother. She's learning a tough lesson of her own this week after Hi. being sentenced to a year plus one day behind bars. The 50-year-old was convicted of bankruptcy fraud and bringing an unreported $120,000 in foreign currency into the United States. A year and a day. Does that seem harsh? A year and a day. It sounds like a movie title. It's surreal to me. Miller was ordered to pay a $40,000 fine and $120,000 money judgment. I feel relieved. I feel peaceful. You didn't know that you were going to serve jail time or not, and now you know. And as you came out of the court, you said you have peace. I have peace, but I think I was better off being in limbo business-wise because now that I know, there's some things that are a little uncertain. I have some new projects that I'm working on and that have been started and that are fabulous and exciting, and now they're put on hold. Miller was originally indicted with fraud charges back in 2015 after hiding $775,000 in income from bankruptcy creditors. She pled guilty to this charge in 2016. Just a yes or no, you were not trying to hide no, that? Not intentionally, no. I, I, and, I, and I wasn't ever trying to hurt anyone. The U.S. Attorney's Office tells ABC News this defendant secreted and structured profits that she derived outside the United States from performances by children, adding that her actions undermine our justice system. Are you ready, Mackenzie? Abby Lee Miller took center stage back in 2011 when Dance Moms became an instant hit with viewers. Hinge ball change up! ABC News' John Donvan met the reality star at the beginning of it all, when the controversial you know, series the started to gain momentum. Are. You know, getting to the top is one thing, staying there is another thing. Let's get a trophy now for being born. No, that's participation. Give him a T-shirt. Give him a sweat towel, water bottle, something like that. The trophy should be earned. Each week, viewers watched as she ranked her students, young girls dancing their way to the top or bottom. On the bottom of the pyramid! Of that infamous pyramid, Miller defended her technique. Why are they questioning me? I don't go no. to anybody's office and say, hey, excuse me, why but, but, are you removing but, but that appendix? They're questioning you because you're making their kids cry. That's when they ah. question you. No, but they, you are making their kids cry. Sometimes. Sometimes. And that's and when sometimes they- Sometimes I'm making their kids' dreams come true. Maddie. One of those students, Maddie Ziegler, gained immense success I thanks to the series, winner, starring in music winner. videos for Sia. Oh, gonna swim. And skyrocketing to fame. But after six seasons, Maddie decided to walk away from Miller and the show. Oh my God! What is mentally wrong with you? My colleague, Abby Boudreaux, interviewed the now 14-year-old dancer and her mother earlier this year. Yeah, we, my sister and I were like, that's it. They uh, were finished. Did you ever have that, that moment where you thought, as a mother, dance moms, you know, this is breaking my daughter's spirit? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh, absolutely, all the time. I was stressed out at, like, as a 12-year-old. Like, that's just really weird to me. But now I just have so much weight off my shoulders, and I'm like, oh, I can just live my life and do something without like worrying and thinking, oh, I'm gonna get yelled at if I do this. Like now mm -hmm. I just can do whatever I want. Miller announced her departure from the Lifetime series back in March on Instagram, writing, I will no longer take part in Dance Moms. For the past six years, seven seasons, I have asked, begged, and even demanded creative credit for all the ideas, award-winning routines, themes, and costuming to no avail. Her legal troubles are now sharing the spotlight. What is the next chapter for you? To be a smarter, 
businesswoman and also to worry about myself. I have spent so much time and so much energy making other people's children stars. I didn't have any children of my own. These were my kids and I raised them like they were my kids. And you love those kids. Miller must report to prison in the next 44 days, but for now she's working on future projects and taking some time to reflect. I'm just going to pretend I'm shooting a movie and we're on set and I'm there for 10 months and that's the way it's going to be. How do you plan on spending your days? Reading and I want to learn to speak Spanish and I'm already working on a new book. As for the Abby Lee Dance Company, it will remain open. I built that studio. My mom and dad gave me their life savings to buy the land. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in Pittsburgh. I like that